Hello friends and welcome to Generation Pixel. My name's Stuart and today, well, not just any old Generation Pixel, but the Generation Pixel Game of the Year Awards, or as I like to call them, the Pixies. Now it's not going to be a long-winded affair, so don't worry, no three hours of political content, just five categories with my five Game of the Year Awards. So, let's get started. Now 2020 had some remarkable indie games, but one stood head and shoulders above the rest for me. And that is none other than the cute little tic tacs that populated the world of Fall Guys Ultimate Knockout. Take it away. Let's hear it for the Fall Guys people. Now the second award of the night is Hey You're Looking Good Award and that goes to, well let me tell you, an oil painting of a game with so many camera modes that even Steven Spielberg or George Lucas would struggle to decide on which way to play the game and which way to capture it. And that game is none other than Ghost of Tsushima. You are a samurai. Bound to uphold the code. To live, fight, and die with honor. If you stray from this path, what will you become? Now isn't that a game that you'd happily take home to meet your parents? Now the next award is a special one, it's a Hell Yeah, Hell No award and it goes to a game that has divided the community. Now there have been a few games that have had their ups and downs this year but one in particular divided the community right down the middle and the only game that could take that award this year was none other than the wonderful The Last of Us Part 2. I know you wish things were different. I wish things were different. Ellie! But they ain't. Now I think we can all agree that a game that can divide the player base so dramatically is worthy of any Game of the Year award. And whether you loved it or hated it, it is a game you should play. Now the fourth award of the evening is yet another special award. I like to call it the Why Would You Do That To Us award. And the reason for that is, it's an award that's going to a game that didn't divide so much the player base as really destroy them. And that game is none other than Cyberpunk 2077. Bring it on. Test of a person's true value. Death. Facing. Staring it down. Uh, Johnny. I got you. Pressure's tanking. It's neurogenic shock. He's dying. V? You in there? Ah! My head. So what now? Now, you find out what it is you need. Now I'm going to be completely fair here. Cyberpunk 2077 was released far too early. Once the developers and CD Projekt Red are fantastic developers, get their hands back on it, and bake it just for a little longer in that oven. It is going to be possibly one of the games of the decade and it's only 2020. So CD Projekt Red, get it back in the oven. We want to play that game complete. 
Now for the main event people, the last award, the Gotti, the Game of the Year award. Now for me, only one game was going to win this. And this game is a game that I've been waiting for, for, I don't want to say. Let's just say a very long time. But that game, I am proud to say, finally hit our shelves this year, was finally downloaded onto our systems, and we could finally play. Ladies and gentlemen, Final Fantasy VII, the remake. So, Cloud, you were a soldier first class, right? Yeah. Weird. Really? What's weird about it? Nothing. Just that you were the same rank. Huh? As who? The first guy I ever loved. Oh. Wow. Uh. Your eyes. So there we have it, folks. The game that everybody was waiting for, especially me, for so long that we even forgot it was going to be made. But that, alas, brings us to the end of this award ceremony. And I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope I've shown you some games that you've agreed with. And I hope I've shown you some games you disagreed with. Because, as always, on YouTube, we'd love you to like, subscribe, but more importantly, write comments. Because it's comments that make YouTube great. Thank you for watching this year. And probably see you next year. Bye! <laughs>